Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan and we are here again for another PC Build update. Pero as of this time, I may call it Pandemic PC Build that is into budget. Disclaimer lang po why I call it Pandemic PC Build is because limited lang po ang ating options. Second, pricing is totally different compared sa normal uh, situation. Like uh, before pandemic, ibang-iba po yung uh, pricing. Pangatlo is of course, for you not to be confused na if you will watch this video again and hindi na po pandemic, this is not the recommended choice that you may have or the best choice that you may have. And one of those questionable thing is, why only this time na naglabas ako ng 3400G dito sa ating channel? Let's find out the answer and check this budget PC build and for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Before we will talk about the details, let's check first the time lapse and how is the benchmark as of June 2021. Just hold on for dear life Yeah, I can't give up this feeling That I get when looking down for this high Oh, now we
Since this is only applicable as of this time of pandemic, let's make this very, very quick. Why only this time that we featured 3400G dito sa ating channel? Unang-una, before pandemic po mga kaibigan, meron tayong 2600, 3100, 3300X, 3200G, 4350G. So if you are into budget, you may settle down with the 3200G. You will have now a better buying power after dahil meron ka pang natipid to buy a dedicated video card and you can avail it as soon as possible. Compared sa nag-full force ka kagad sa 3400G, then automatically medyo mag-slow down or medyo matatagalan yung next step na gagawin mo na bumili ng dedicated video card. So to cut it short, there is a faster chance na magkaroon ka ng dedicated graphics. And if you weigh in 3200G versus 3400G, almost on par lang po sila if there is a dedicated graphics and you are just into gaming. Now another thing, 3100K at a 5K+. 3500 at a 5K+. Plus. Ryzen 5 at roughly 6K flat. Those are 6-core processors. With dedicated video card, why should you consider 3400G at almost 8K? Oops, wait lang. Yes, 3400G is also priced at a 6K plus back then. Pero that is before pandemic. Hindi po as soon as na ilabas ang 3100 or 3500 or 3500X. Doon po nagkakatalo. There is a better chance that you may have a better gaming PC with a dedicated video card if you will settle down with those over the 3400G. Kaya kung bagay yung 3400G is just if you don't have any choice, settle down sa 3400G. Or if you don't have any plan na magkaroon ng video card in the future and you want the best AMD APU processor, then you may settle down with 3400G. So I'm not telling na hindi po siya magandang processor. I'm just stating that it is not in a very good price position back then. Kaya hindi po siya masyadong napapansin or hindi ko siya ni-recommend dito sa ating channel. Pero this time na pandemic, there are several factors that we may consider. Unang-una, 3400G is the only option that we have. If you will look for 3200G, I doubt na makakahanap kayo ngayon. If you want to go for a 3300X, mas lalong hindi kayo makakahanap ng ganyang processor as of this time. Believe me, baka mahirap pa sa limang daliri natin ang store na mayroong available na processor sa mga nabanggit ko kanina. Now, is that the only reason na availability lang? So we are forced to buy it because this is the only available processor? Well, sadly, that is the hard truth. It is the only processor that is widely available across the Philippines. Pero tulad na ng sinabi ko kanina, hindi naman po siya pangit na processor. It's still good choice. Dahil pupunta tayo sa pangalawa. If you want to avoid those overpriced video cards, and kahit pa paano, you will have a PC build that you can temporarily use and play some esports games or at least have a better integrated graphics compared sa Intel, then settle down with Zen APU processor. And balik tayo sa una, if we are in a rush, this is the only option that we may have. Because we will go to the third. Zen APUs is totally different compared sa mga uh, budget APUs. Dahil, if you go for a Zen APU, and in the future gusto mong magdagdag ng video card, you have the better chance to upgrade para sa isang mas mataas na video card like GTX 1660 Super or maybe at least RX 5700 if there is still available one. Or to simplify, there is a better upgrade path. Not only for GPU uh, support or uh, bottleneck uh, reasons, pati rin sa motherboard. If you will compare AMD sa Intel, mas maraming uh, supported processors ang AMD motherboard. So ayan lang po ang ating mabilisang video. If you want to check more technical details pagdating sa mga budget PC build, you may uh, browse sa ating 20K PC build last year. Last quarter ko din in-upload. Relevant pa rin siya until now. And some of the budget PC builds na upload din natin uh, early last year or 2019. So ayan lang po mga kaibigan. Feel free to subscribe, comment down below, and keep posted for more videos like this.